Get your video ready and left click and drag it into your Sony Vegas timeline. If you don't need the audio, you can click on the bottom layer, press U on your keyboard, click on the layer and press delete. If you want to right click on the video, go down to properties and disable resample. Now what you want to do is you want to right click in the empty area and get yourself a new video track. Now that you've got yourself a new video track, you want to go over to media generators and go down to legacy text. If you can't see this option or this tab available, you can go to view, go down to window and then enable media generators. Or you can use the shortcut key, which is alt and nine. You want to get yourself either the default text or you can get a template and drag it into the layer above, type in your text. We're going to edit the effects by going to the very last tab. We're going to set the first one to 0 0.100, this one to 0 and this one to 0. We're going to close this down, go to the start. We're then going to go into event slash crop. You want to make sure that this icon right here is enabled because this will sync up your video event effects with your actual video preview. We're going to edit the first keyframe. So if you zoom out by scrolling down, if you have a mouse and you're going to hold shift and drag this outwards, this will make it smaller. We're going to place it above here. And then what we want to do is slowly look through the video and plot each point manually. The way it works is that you have the first point, which is right here. And this is the current position that it's sitting on right now. If we were going to create another one down here, let's say, and we move it slightly down, you now have two different positions. And what the video editor will do is it will play from this point here to this point right here. So it'll smoothly, as you can see, move from there. Now, the problem with this is that it can take time. So if you're someone who's unpatient, unfortunately, there isn't many features that allow you to automatically track the object. So you will have to manually do it yourself. But what you want to do next is just go on to the next one, move it slightly, keep going down and keep moving it above the penguin or the object's head. And you don't exactly have to do it every single second. You just have to do it occasionally to make it stay in position. I'm going to move a little bit further. If you're unhappy with a certain point that you created, so let's say you want to go back to this one, you can always re-edit it as long as you click on it and it's exactly at the time where it's been plotted. It will automatically re-edit it, as you can see. You also have the Control and Z to undo, and this will go back a step. You can right-click on them, you can delete them, you can even copy them by pressing Control C and pressing Control and V, but we're gonna move this one that way. You can even move them left and right, wherever you want them to be. I'm going to keep going this way until it starts moving. So as you can see, the penguin will soon enough be moving. And pretty much the whole time we're just going to pray above his head as if it's following the penguin. And as you can see, it's now starting to move forward. And what we can do here is we can make the text slightly bigger to give it that effect that is coming closer to us. You can even tilt the text if you wanted to by enabling some of the 3D features. But for now, we're just going to make it follow our penguin. There's another step, move a little further. And the very last one, which we won't be able to see, but if we move it slightly back, we've got it on the screen right there. And there we go. So if we quickly just preview this, we can also add in a fade in. So the text doesn't just appear on the screen, it will slowly fade in by dragging the top left corner inwards and then right clicking on here 
and changing it to this one. So if we preview this, you can see the text is pretty much following the object. We can also add in a fade out. We're going to choose this one right here. And yeah, there we go. That looks pretty